Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I'm going to check out this laser infrared thermometer from this company called Dr. Meter. The model number on this is IR-60. Now, you may have seen other infrared thermometers on the market, but the unique thing about this unit is it has a full view color LCD backlit display, and instead of having just a single laser pointer, it uses a 12 point laser to form a circle so it will help you accurately aim at the object for a precise measurement. This unit can measure between minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. This is equivalent to minus 50 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius. So let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what the unit looks like. Here we have a soft case that holds the thermometer. We have the 9 volt battery and the user manual. Let's first install the 9 volt battery. Flip this cover open. Here you find the 9 volt battery connector. Let's take a closer look at this infrared thermometer. Looking at the front. This is the infrared sensor to take the temperature measurement. Above that, this is the laser pointer. Right here is the trigger to take the measurement of the temperature. Looking at the back, at the top we have an alarm indicator. Below that, this is a backlit color LCD display. If I pull the trigger, it will turn on this display and take the measurement. This yellow button here on the left is to turn on and off the laser pointer. So right now you see the laser is on. If I press a button, the laser indicator is off. Turn it back on. Right in the middle is a mode button. If you press and hold the mode button, you can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Let me do it again. Now it changes to Celsius. Next to the mode button, this is the backlighting button. So if you want to turn off the backlight to the LCD, press this button. Now the backlight is off. Press it again. Now turn on the backlight. On this unit, there is an option to set the high alarm level or the low alarm level. So when you do a measurement, if it reaches the high level, then the alarm indicator will turn on. Same as for the low alarm level, if you reach a low temperature reading, then the alarm indicator will turn on. To set the high alarm level or the low alarm level, what you want to do is pull and hold the trigger. While holding the trigger, press the mode button once. Now you can let go of the trigger. You can use the up and down arrow key to adjust the high level. So right now it's set to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. If I go up, so let's say if I set this to, now if I want to change the low alarm level, press the mode button once, and now you see LAL displayed. Over here on the secondary display, right now it's set to 28 degrees Fahrenheit for the low alarm level. We can decrease this if we want to, or increase it. Now the maximum temperature you can set for the low alarm is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's bring this down. We can set it to say 23 degrees. And then when you're done, just pull the trigger once, and they'll go back to the regular display. Now to take a temperature measurement, what you want to do is hold the trigger down until the reading stabilizes. So right now I'm going to measure the temperature of my hand. Once you let go, it will show you the temperature reading. After about 10 seconds, the display will turn off automatically. Here I turn down the light so you can see the laser pointer. So let's say if I want to measure the temperature of the rotor, press the trigger. Here's 100 degrees. We'll measure it again, 100 degrees. Or if I want to measure the temperature of the tire tread, 95.7, 94.1. So let's say if I want to check if the car's AC system is working, I can point the infrared thermometer to the vent and take a measurement. Right now it shows 62.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now I'm going to measure the dash away from the vent and see what that measures. And it's 80.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I can also check the ventilated cool seats to see if they're working. So right now the passenger side, the ventilated cool seats are turned off and the driver's side is turned on. So let's first measure the passenger side and see what temperature reading we have. 76.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's measure the driver's side with the ventilated cool seats turned on and it's measuring 71.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Or we can measure the temperature of the air box 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Another thing I want to show you is if I pull the trigger and take a measurement and while holding the trigger I move this thermometer around it will actually measure whichever area I have it pointed to. 124, 114, 103, back to the plastic cover, 124. So as you can see, this can be a very handy tool to have if you want to find out what is the temperature reading of an object. It's very simple to use. Just point it, pull the trigger, and take a reading. This non-contact infrared thermometer makes checking temperature very, very easy. And as you saw earlier, if I was troubleshooting my ventilated cool seats, it's really hard to find out whether it's cooling enough. And with this infrared thermometer, you can quickly diagnose whether the system is working or not. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the review of this Dr. Meter infrared thermometer. If you want to pick one up, I will put the Amazon link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.